Hi guys, welcome back to my FIFA 15 Liverpool career mode. And we've got a game against Watford next. Um, and we're going to just look at the team, see if we need to do anything to it. There might be a few players that are a little bit worn out. Coutinho is looking a bit worse for wear there. He's not fully green, so I'll bring Lallana in. Um, I think we'll probably keep Markovic. I don't really want to play Suso if I'm going to be honest. And we might bring Melanda back in. Um, I think we'll keep the centre-backs the same. Um... Uh, and I think that will be it. Um, Sturridge could probably play, but yeah, that should probably do it. And uh, we'll get into this game against Watford, and I'll see you for the first half. Well, we've got Barclays Premier League action for you. I'm Martin Tyler, and with me is Alan Smith. Yeah, I'm Martin. Great to be here. Alan, Liverpool, what have you made of them recently? We don't often see this, an unbeaten away record in the league. There are a lot of tough grounds to go to in this division, but so far, at least, they've managed it really impressively. The referee is Anthony Taylor. Yep, here we go. First half action, and as the commentators oh, just said there, we are unbeaten away in the Premier League, which is pretty crazy. Um, I, I'm a pretty, I can do well away, but I'm not the best player. Um, our, our, our home form has been really poor this season, if I'm going to be honest. We've lost two games at home. I'm just surprised we haven't lost any away yet. Anyway, ooh, we've got a free kick here very early on in this game, and the referee's already gone straight to his uh, pocket to pull out a yellow card for So right there. I don't know, yeah, that's, that's a rash tackle on Balotelli and, uh, yeah. So let's just do this. Let's see if we can get another win, another away win. Sterling. Ooh, that was a, that was a decent shot. That was... It looked like it was going in for a minute there. Already, ooh, he just sends it round, but, yeah. We've already tested the Watford goal already. Hopefully more of this to come, really. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, we'll just uh, wait for him to take the goal kick, and he's finally taken it. Obviously, Watford are newly promoted. Doesn't mean it's going to be any less of a challenge, because usually these kind of games are pretty mental in every way. And some kind of shit happens that you don't expect, that you can't account for. And we've gotten quite lucky there. I'm going to put that through to Sturridge. He's going to run onto that. The pace is going to be too much for Watford. I'm going to cut inside. And I'm going to shoot. And I'm going to score a goal. That was absolutely brilliant from Daniel Sturridge. And the build-up play was just phenomenal. Just, I knew if I just get that perfect ball through, I'm going to get past their defence. It's not going to be quick enough. The pace that we have, they will just not be able to deal with it. They didn't. And we put a nice finesse shot in there. And Daniel Sturridge can, uh, can smile as he's got another goal to his, uh, to his very impressive score tally this year. So brilliant. 1-0 up already. I just, nice through ball. I think that was, that no, wasn't Coutinho, obviously. It was, yeah, I think it was Lana that played that through. That was impressive. And Laporte won it in defence as well, so. And Sacco's just come straight in there and he's like, I'm having none of it. I'm going to just deal with that with Mignolet. I didn't want to give away a corner or anything. So I just thought I'm going to get lucky here and uh, clear it. Anyway, let's see if we can... Ooh, and I've seen that. I've seen that. That's a great pass to Markovic. I saw him there. I thought I'm going to try this. And it worked. And we're going to try and get them again on the... Oh, I should have maybe made a pass, I don't know. Good work there from Laporte. Sterling's still got a little bit of work to do here, and he's, he's dealt with that pretty well. And we've got... Alberto Marino on the ball. Let's just keep going. This good. Not, 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 oh, they've given away a free kick, so that's all right. We'll get this to Sterling. Um, these two work pretty well together down this left side. Their pace is just unbelievable, and I just absolutely abuse it every time. This cross is going to go in for Balotelli, and he has put that wide. Uh, apparently, it's a corner. I didn't. Okay, fair enough. I'll take it. Put this in. Oh, what was that, Lalana? That was terrible. Now oh, they can break. 
Here come Watford. The pace of Icarlo here. Ooh, he's lost it to Caravaglio. Good tackle. Oh, that's a great ball. Oh, that was a really good ball. If only it just got through to him, that would have been sick. And we've got to throw it as my arm is really itchy. Here we go. Let's keep going. Lalana. Great save from that name. I just can't pronounce that name, that Watford goalkeeper. Great save, though. The ball was really good. Lalana turns and he's going to shoot a goal. And if ooh, that could have taken a deflection, that could have been a really wicked goal for Watford to concede. Anyway, Sterling on the corner. And the goalkeeper claims it. Markovic into Lepore. Can we get something going here? They're defending really well, actually, to be honest. I'll give them that. They're blocking me. Oh, another great save from the goalkeeper. Oh, Sturridge, man. Don't lose it there for me. If you lose it... Oh, it's so annoying. We're better than that. You're better than that, Sturridge. Sturridge is much better. I don't think he'd lose the ball like that, if I'm going to be honest. That's a great tackle. And the referee got in the way of Sturridge. I would have got to that. Oh, shit. Hit the post, corner. God almighty. Is it really that easy? How oh, Watford this good? It's a good shot. It beats Mignolet, but it didn't beat the post. So, count ourselves lucky there. And Mignolet claims... Mignolet really commands the area and like he doesn't he doesn't do that in real life though he's very nervous when he comes up for corners like that but in, well, in the game he deals with them quite well oh, here's Sterling he's won it back why did Sturridge stop his run for? why did he stop? he could have got onto that And the Paul's completely missed that. We'll have to bring Markovic further back now just to deal with it. And Junior Milan has done well to win that. I'm going to put that ball across. Yeah, that was going to always end up with a Watford player. Oh, okay. End of the first half. Pretty good so far. We've had, we could be 3-0 up. But yeah, we'll see you in the second half. Maybe we'll continue this, uh, this good run of play. And Cara Valley on there. Adam Oh, that would have. That ball was a little bit ambitious from Balotelli. Wasn't ever going to get to Sturridge. Okay, let's uh, keep this going. Adam Lallana. Ooh, Lallana might get through, and oh, if he didn't get anything on that. I'm going to win that, and I'm going to score. Okay, it's still one 0 This game could just not work out for me. I just have this feeling. I always have these feelings in FIFA. Here comes Markovic on the wing. Can he beat his opposite number? He does. He does it very well as well. Let's cross it in. Balotelli again. He's missed another chance. He can't score at the moment. And I actually managed to successfully do a cross where I got a shot on target. Damn. Something's definitely in. This just this isn't right. That's not right to do that. Centre backs just didn't deal with that. Melander didn't deal with it either. That could have been e that could have easily gone wrong for us right there. And now he's given that away, Balotelli. He's not had the best game in the world, if I'm going to be honest, which is annoying. Oh shit! Oh, why am I being so bad defensively? It's lucky that this is this is Watford and we're not playing Chelsea or Man City or something like that because they'd have probably scored that and I'd be about 6-0 down. It's just so bad defensively. I just can't stop myself from being shit defensively. We really need a second goal. Keep conceding possession. You do that in the Premier League, you get punished. I had to win that. And I did. Still 1 0 here, with the time almost up. What about this uh, impacting on the next game? Oh, again. Sunderland after this. 
certainly not hit the heights out here today. They can play better. Joel Extract. Oh, dispossessed. They could be in trouble. I don't want to commit too many. Let's let that one run out for throwing. And out. I think the coach will be considering his options on the Whoa, bench. Whoa, Balotelli, come on. I never ever thought Balotelli would be a Liverpool player anyway, so it's just weird sometimes seeing him in a Liverpool shirt. Yeah, that cross was poor. Game is running down. There could still be some last minute ball, but you never know. Might just get the win. Game over. 1 0 victory wasn't the most convincing but I think we were the better team over the course of the 90 minutes um, could have scored a couple more goals if Balotelli got his shooting boots on but uh, whatever it's a one little word it's three points and I don't know what that would do uh, to the table I guess we'll have a look in a moment after a quick look at the match stats this was the only goal of the game pretty decent one if I'm going to be honest here we go there we go yeah we, we were the better team in this game I think they didn't really have they had two shots and only one of them was on target and that hit the post so that's just uh let's advance let's go to the next game i don't even know what the next game is i should probably know that it should be in my interest to know what the next game is Hello once again, I'm Martin Tyler, and this is Anfield. Well, two teams high up in the table, a chance for one of them, if they can get a win today, to push on and maybe challenge the, the really top teams in this division. Martin Atkinson, today's referee. Here we go, first half action from Anfield as we take on Sunderland. Let's try and uh, get another three points. We could possibly go to the table if we get the three points today. Because uh, the, the team that is top of the table has only got 28 points. So if we get the win here, the results go our way, we could well be at the top of the table come the end of this episode. Oh, that's a great ball. We've already got through. We've already got through it. It's already 1-0 and I'm loving this Liverpool side at the moment. Absolutely fantastic goal. One through ball and I've broken through their defence. And I'm already in. If it's going to be that easy, this could be a rout tonight, if I'm going to be honest. But that was absolutely fantastic from Sturridge. He's just composed. He's scoring goals at will at the moment and he's just brilliant. Absolutely fantastic player. Absolutely fantastic goal. And damn, yeah, that was too easy. I did not expect that. Five minutes, 1-0 already. Let's keep going. Oh, we've got a great pass back to the Sunderland players. And Lovren's come back there and made a really good interception. Oh, just suicidal with my defending at the moment. How has he done that to Balotelli? Say what you want about Balotelli, but he's strong. He's not easy to get off the ball. And here comes Henderson. Oh, it's 2-0. He's staking a claim for the team. You score goals like that, and I might put you back in the team for the next game against Bilbao, depending on your fitness. But that is 2-0 already. That's a fantastic goal. That was just too easy. This is too easy so far. Really well taken goal from Henderson. Finesse shot and on his return after a lengthy absence he has put it away and he has taken a claim to be in the team more often so I might listen to him a little bit but he hasn't actually come to me and said I want to be in the team so props to him for not moaning and just getting on with this job that's that's pretty cool and here is Brian Ruiz from the wide area and that is a super interception oh, let's keep going I want more it's a foul but we'll keep going Here comes Caravaglio, he's been tackled. I don't even know where Sunderland are on the table, if I've got to be careful. Here, because a... Mignolet, nice and easy. Really, really well done there from Mignolet. 
He's such a good goalkeeper in FIFA. Um, he is good in real life as well. He's a really good shot stopper. You, you, you can't compare with his shot stopping, but he's just not very good at his distribution or his sort of presence in the penalty area, like with set pieces, and often comes out the, the victim, if you will. I don't know how else to explain that, but it is a throw to us. Um, let's just try to get him on the ball. Oh, I said 3 0. How the hell did Marino get that in? That was just absolutely disgusting. This is disgusting. 3 0 in 24 minutes. This is too easy. This is too easy, but this is really well worked. Marino keeps going. The defect, the centre back should have done much better in that situation. Didn't win the ball, didn't clear it, and Marino punishes them and makes it 3 0. Really good worked goal there. Just nice ball from Sterling into Marino. Centre back didn't deal with it. And it is in for the third goal of this game. And it's looking on course for a route. I did say that earlier. Watch me not score a fourth goal now. I hope I do. I really want to just go in on this. Oh, Sunderland could have had a goal there. And they've gone all the way back to their goalkeeper. Rodwell. Rodwell. They misplaced that pass. It's not going well for Sunderland at the moment. Poor pass. He's not known for his vision, Daniel Sturridge, but should have done better with that. Anyway, here we go, another chance. Sterling cuts inside De Costa. Let's see if we can get this in. 4-0, and it's done. This game was done a very long time ago, but it's always nice to score these goals. Honest to God, this is on world class. This is not on like amateur or something like that. This is on world class. This is how poor Sunderland are at the moment. They're just not dealing with it. And I think we're just playing too well, to be honest. We just make, we just put in these chances away. I'll, actually, we'll, I'll show you the sliders as well. There's nothing there's nothing shady going on here. This is just crazy. This is just good play. Absolutely brilliant header there from Sturridge. And yes, I will show you the sliders next. Let's have a quick gander at these. Absolutely nothing. 50-50-50 all the way through on the CPU. So, And for myself, 50-50-50 all the way through. I don't use them. And I wouldn't because it's just cheating. Anyway, there we go. It is, and it is on world class as well. Maybe I need to bump it up to legendary. Who knows? But I don't think I'll end up doing that because I'll just get absolutely rinsed even by Sunderland. Oh, we've won the ball back again. Oh, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. They're just not dealing with it. Decent cross, but even better defending. Lucas. Oh, that would have been a good goal. Okay, let's let's see if we can keep going with this. Let's see if we can get another goal. Henderson with another shot, and it's caught by Manone. Sunderland have been on. Uh, I've been on the end of some heavy defeats in their time. We'll tell that for sure. Eight 0 against Southampton in reality. Crazy that was. Could we put eight past Southampton or Southampton? Sunderland today? I don't think so, but we haven't scored enough goals yet. Let's go. Let's go. Let's try and get another goal before half time. I want more goals. I, you know, if I can win heavily, I will win heavily. Anyway, first half over, 4 0. This game is done. This game is done. We might as well call it here. Anyway, we'll see you in the second half. They probably think the job's done. Yeah, they do. And I've been in this situation. It's all about the manager emphasising the fact that first ten. Well, I'm not sure. Let's go. I am not holding back. I'm going for more goals. I'm not going to settle for four. Why settle for four when you can have six? I don't know, man. Let's just keep going. I don't know why I chose six of the numbers that are above the number four. I don't know why I did that, but whatever. Ooh, that was a good. He won the ball back. But didn't really end up in anything if I'm going to be honest it's just taken me time to get used to world class I said this at the start of the series it will take me time and it has it's taken me several episodes to 
work out how to do it, but now I've worked out how to do it where I can beat teams, you know. It's good, I like it. And that's a good header back there to Mule. I think they're going to be defending very, very heavily in this game now, just to stop any more for their goal difference. We need goals for our goal difference as well, so we need to win heavily tonight. And here we go, Sturridge has got through again. count for you it's not a very big one is it one shot none on target for Sunderland I think these lads will be getting some stick from the manager and indeed from the press afterwards really poor showing Patrick Van Arnhol. and we tried to get the tackle away there and we've headed it away good tackle good defending actually we've defended well today which is incredible well, anyway let's keep going that's a foul that's definitely a foul has been penalised here and that is a yellow card for Roberge. And they made a substitution. You know, 4 0 is a good result, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to be disappointed if we don't win. If we if we win 4 0, I know we lost it there, shit. I can't really speak today, if I'm going to be honest. I've done a lot of talking. So. And they've put that out wide to uh, Fletcher, and they've gone for the cross. Look at that punch, Mignolet. Good header there to stop that potential goal scoring opportunity for. And here's Henderson. He's played well on his return. That's offside, I think. Yeah, it was offside. I wasn't going to. Yeah, it's a shame. Yeah, this game was done in the first half. You know, I thought Sunderland might come out and start fighting, but they haven't, so. Here we go. I'm going to try and cut inside here with Sturridge. Oh, shit. Oh, Henderson's tried to win that back. He's not the strongest Henderson, but he you know, has that engine trait, which is just he keeps going and he's got like infinite stamina. Balotelli just seems to be... Not having a good, I don't think he's in good form to be honest. He just keeps losing the ball every time he shoots, he misses. And Sturridge scoring all the goals. Thank God it is. And they put one away. That was really poor defending, but it's still 4 1. It's very unlikely they're going to score four goals in the next uh, six minutes. Let's just try and do the kickoff thing where you just run in at them and score a goal. I think I think we'll be able to do it, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, no. Well, here comes Sterling. Oh, that's a. Oh, bloody Lucas went over it. He... Oh, Jesus, so Lucas, man. What was that? God, he ran past the ball. We could have just headed it or volleyed it, and he ran past it. Just all but destroying the opportunity anyway. Yeah, that was a good result. 4 1. And, you know, we'll take it. It's, you know, we can see the goal, but that's just typical me. I can't defend for my life. But that will probably mark the end of this episode. We are almost half an hour in. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching, and hopefully, you have enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.